now, you know, if, if you don't start till like 17 or 18, and you, what do you do? Jeanette and Junior, when you're 18 or 19, you're like, all right, Muppet, it, wouldn't you? You're probably not allowed to. It's yeah. a ceiling limit. I don't know. Obviously, even more exciting, new team, new car for you to learn. That must, you know, excite you even more going into the new year to have something a bit different. Yeah, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> the amount of teams I switch around, um, yeah, it's uh, it's become the norm to me. I've always been a fan of the of the BTCC, and you know, up until as recent as October last year, I was still paying my money to, or trying not to pay my money, but still coming in and watching the racing from the from behind the catch vent. The pace of a car feel okay? Yeah, it feels great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and aim for the next race. What's your what's the uh, objective? Well, win. You know, we've got names all down this side, including Hedgeworks Motorsport, which we really appreciate as well. But I've got to start by asking you about last time out, two weeks ago, Brands Hatch, first podium, must have been amazing. Well, before that, I forgot my sun cream, so there's 100% chance of me burning this weekend. <laughs> it is why we're in the shade, and you're looking into the sun. Which is brand new, it's great to be a part of it so far. Absolutely. No, we did well. We did well. We did well. You, usually we have like five or six go through. I um, I think. Chimato, uh... <laughs> how crucial is it to get a slipstream, particularly in qualifying? Well, um, around here, I genuinely cry my eyes out. I just couldn't believe it because it's like a lifetime's worth of work, and it was like that goal achieved, and it was set and done. And my engineer just walked in front of shot. <laughs> it's the second, second time to say your dad walked through a shot earlier with, with Dan Zilos, so it's, it's all good. It's a tradition, it's fine. I always say I have to thank a lot the marshals because, especially at the start of my career, as I always say, I spent quite a lot of time in the gravel. After heading from Brands Hatch, we go to a completely different circuit, Bing Snetterton, one that's very long, very technical. Is it one you enjoy? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> You've got some great people around you, great team. What's it like having Joe as a teammate? Um, interesting at times. <laughs> Coming what eighth instead of ninth. At this point, yeah. doesn't really mean anything. No. So. No. Stand on my coffee table whenever you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time we spoke on camera, it was back at Cadwell Park, um, first round of the season, where we almost got through a whole interview without someone walking through the shot. Sorry, I'm so sorry. This was just on the channel. It's fine. It happens all the time. International, so. Uh, um, <laughs> someone spat at me, I thought. What a great day it's been here at Donington Park. What's everyone thought of the GP loop? It's been great that that's been back on the calendar. Over 20 years since it was last on the calendar. Um, last time the Touring Cars actually raced here, I hadn't even been born yet. So a real mix of circuits as well. You know, Silverstone today on the National. Are you a fan of that? Um, obviously, I suppose today after after They're obviously third and in pole position, actually my strongest quality. So I think I should do less Friday test days, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, very much so. It's a bit cheaper as well, save some tyres and fuel. It's all changed since um, since we spoke last. I'm now at university in Derby, um, studying sports journalism, um, and I'll give you three guesses on what sport I'm specialising in um, with my journalism. Um, Not huh? Not football. No, funnily enough, no. 